Hey, this is Salman Al Said, and for my final project for AP Computer Science A, I'm going to be showing you how to convert binaries to decimals, binaries to hexadecimals, decimals to binaries, decimal to hexadecimal, hexadecimal to decimal, and hexadecimal to binary. Okay, so just a quick overview of a binary, decimal, and hexadecimal. Decimal is just a regular number system. It's based on powers of 10. So like, at the ones place, that's um, the zero, 10 to the power of 0. And to the tens place, that's 10 to the power of 1. So like you put 8. So to write, to write this in its official decimal form, here, let me get some brush. That's good. Okay. So that would be like ten, 1 times 100 to the power, not to the 100, 10 to the second plus 8 times 10 to the first plus 8 times 10 to the 0 power. So 10 to the 0 is 1, That's so that simplifies to 8. 10 to the first is 10, that's 80. And 10 to the second, that's 100, times 1, that's 100. And you get 188. And so this concept transfers oh, this concept transfers over to binaries and hexadecimals. So basically, here, let's get rid of all of this. So binary, in contrast, is base, uh, base 2, and hexadecimal is base 16. But the thing with hexadecimal, is since it's base 16, you can't just write 10 like that, like because 10 is a in one digit in hexadecimal, if you know what that means. Like so, then what people did is they represented 10 through 15 because it starts at zero, and so zero to 15 that's 16 digits, which is the 16 bases. 10 to 15 is a through F because you need to represent 10 as a single digit and you can't write two digits because our decimal our regular number system doesn't work like that so that's the thing and for a bi binary is just power of two so let's write the, this binary into its like expanded form so that's two to the zero one you don't have to really write the one or the zero like because since, since everything's going to eventually either be 1 or 0, you could just write the power. So 2 to the 0 exists plus 2 to the 1st. Plus, you skip 2 to the 2nd because it doesn't exist. It's 0. 2 to the 3rd plus 4, 5. 2 to the 6, 6. Plus... 2 to the 7. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2 to the 7. That's its expanded form. Now, you could do the same for hexadecimal, 3D. So that's 3 times 16 to the 1st plus D. What's D? So A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, and D is 13. So 13 times 16 to the 0. That's expanded form through 3D. That equals 3D. And this equals that. Okay, once you have the expanded form of any base, you can just multiply it out and combine it and you'll get the decimal form. So let's do this one. So 2 to the, two to the 0 is just 1. 2. 2 to the 3rd, that's 8. 2 to the 6, that's 32, I believe. No, that's not 32, that's... Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, 64. So if that's 64, that should be 128. So 128 plus 64, that's 180, 192. 192 plus 8, that's 201. 201 plus 2, that's 202, and 203. So that should equal 203 in decimal form. And it sure turns out to be 203, according to my converter, on my converter right here, which you can't see because it's on my phone. And the same for the hexadecimal. So 3 times 16, that's 48. Where's my mouse? 
48 plus 16 to the 0 is just 1, so plus 13. So 48 plus 13, that's 58, 61. Uh, 61, and sure enough, does that work out? Let's see. 3D, yep, 61. So that's how you convert to decimal from any base, any base to decimal. Now, what you can do, so now we, know, we learn how to convert binary to decimal and hexadecimal to decimal. You just write an expanded form and combine. Now, if you want to do the things we didn't learn, like decimal to binary, let's do that. Now, what you want to do is to convert from decimal to binary, you get the black. So, what you want to do is think of the, um, the biggest number that's a power of 2, that's closest to one, that's right below 188. So, 2 to the 7th, that's 128. That's 120 is a power of 2. And the next one after that is 256. So that's 256 too big, but 128 is just under it. So we want to do 188 minus 128. Then you get from that, that's 60. So you get left with 60. And that's just, you can write 2 7th instead of 128, which is going to help you in the long run. And then 60, what's the closest one? 64 is too high, but 32 is the next one. So minus 32. So that's 8, 40, that's 22, I believe, yep, and then you go on from there, 16, so that's, th wait, let's write that, 2 to the 6, and then 22 minus 16, which is 2 to the, oh, oops, no, that's not 2 to the 7th, that's 2 to the 6th, and that's 2 to the 5th, oops, sorry, and minus 2 to the 4th, which is 16, 16, and then you get left with 4, 5, 6, minus 4, which is 2 to the 2nd, as everyone knows, you get left with 2, which is 2 to the 1st, isn't it? Right? Yeah. So then, you get 2 to the 1st, 2 to the 2nd, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 6th. So what you want to do is start at 2 to the first, two, start at 2 to the uh, 0. 2 to the 0. That, that, it's not our formula. So you put in a 0. And then 2 to the, and then the next one, 2 to the 1st, it exists, so you put a 1. 2 to the 2nd exists, you put a 1. 2 to the 3rd doesn't exist, you put a 0. 2 to the 4th, it exists. 2 to the 5th exists. 2 to the 6th exists. So that's your final binary number. And sure enough, if you check, Yes. Yeah, works out. So that's our binary number. And now to convert from decimal to hexadecimal, that's another process. Let's undo all that. Now for decimal to hexadecimal, first step is one. You do you divide one twenty one divided by sixteen. One twenty one divided by. 16. 120 divided by 16, but you actually want to do the modulus operator. Makes sense if you say modulus if, because we're all computer science. So 16, 16 times 2 is 32, 16 times 3 is 48, 16 times 4 is 64, 16 times 5 is. Wait, what's 16 here? So the closest number you can get is 121 here I got my handy dandy calculator Five, six. The close number can get 7 16 times 7 is 112 so you get 112 and then you find the remainder of that the remainder okay so no okay okay this is like a two-step problem not modules 16 121 divided by 16 you get 7 if you're using int division and then if you do the modulus and so if you find the, the remainder of that that's going to be that's going to be one, one, uh, 121 minus 112 which is not uh, where is this ah where'd it go which is 9 now 
you have your hexadecimal number. So you can you combine the 7 and the 9. That's your hexadecimal number. And sure enough, if you look and convert, uh -huh. Yep, 79. You know, all the hexadecimal doesn't always have to use letters. So don't be like when you're taking a multiple choice question or something like that, or like it's just in general, if you see 79, don't always assume decimal. Read finally what the number is given to you. Now, so if we just finished learning decimal to binary and decimal to hexadecimal. Now let's learn about hexadecimal to decimal. Uh, where do you know how to do hexadecimal to decimal? We did binary to decimal already. We did bi we do we do binary to hex? No, we didn't. Okay, binary to hex. One thing you need to know for hexadecimal it uses four slots of binary. So this is the first so what you want to do is divide these two. This is the first hexadecimal number, and this is the second one. Now, if you do the expanded form, that's two to the first, I mean two to zero, two to the first, two to the second, two to the third. So, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, right? Yeah. And then you combine that, that's 12, 14, 15. Yeah, that's 15. And then that's the first number, which gets converted to, what's the letter? So, 10 is A, 11 is B, 12 is C, 13 is D. 14 is E and 15 is F. So that's F. And then 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, that's just, so that's 2 to the 0, that's just going to be 1. So F, 1. And sure enough, if you check, 1, 1, 1. Uh huh, it works out. So now we know how to do binary to decimal, binary to hex, decimal to binary, decimal to hex, and then one thing left hex to binary. Now if you if you think about how we did binary to hex, this can help you out. You can um, flip. f is going to be 15, a is going to be 10. So what you can do there is, so you get the 15, 15 times 16 plus 10 times 16 to the 0. So that's going to be 10. And that's going to be 240. 240. So that's going to be 250. And then that's a decimal number. And you now you can convert it to binary. So it's going to be 250 and what's the plus number 128 that's 2 to the 6 no 2 to the 7 is 128 so 250 minus 128 that's 100 that's going to be 122 oops 122 and then the next one is 2 to the Wait, that's 2 to the 7, 2 to the 6, which is minus 64, and then that minus 32, oops, Wait. so 58 minus 32, that's 26 minus 16, which is 10 minus 8 which is just 2. So 2 to the 1st, 2 to the 3rd, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 6th, 2 to the 7th. Yeah. So 2 to the 1st, so 2 to the 0 doesn't exist. 2 to the 1st exists. 2nd doesn't exist. 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. And then this is your going to be your final answer. And if you check, FA would be 1, yep, works out. So now you should have a grasp on how to convert 
binary decimal binary to hex decimal to binary decimal to hex hex to decimal and hex to binary and then just a quick recap binary decimal binary to expanded form and combined binary to hex divide each of these into two separate parts and then get those numbers add them up and then convert to the letter or number corresponding to it and then decimal to binary just um, find the closest uh, power of 2 to that, subtract, and then keep doing it until you run out, and then just convert those to 1s and zeros. And then decimal to hex, divide by 16, and then the number you get with int division, that's going to be the first number, and then, num and then the remainder is the second number. And then 3D, I mean hex to decimal, hex to decimal just try to expand it form, 3 times 16 to the first, plus what D is going to be, so A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is going to be 13, so 13 times 16 to the 0, which is going to just 13. And then hex, dot, hex binary, convert hex to decimal, and then convert that to binary. And then, yeah, that should be it. Um, let's see. Yeah, hi. Right. So hope you learned something out of this, like this project. It's something I struggled with for a long time, and I finally got enough of a grasp to explain it. So... If it's helpful, great. So, yeah, that's it. Good, thank you.